A familiar face about town is preparing for the next chapter of his life. Brian Curtin, town treasurer and tax collector, is retiring after 43 years of service. Having lived in Burlington since age five, Brian graduated from Burlington High School in 1968 and went on to study accounting at Northeastern University. While I was in college, I, um, my first co-op job at Northeastern, because they have the co-op experience, was at the MITRE Corporation over in Bedford. And um, my uh, sophomore year, I went there and I stayed four years there. And when I was graduating in my junior year, when I was finishing my junior year, they offered me a full-time position over at MITRE. On, upon graduation the following year, which I accepted. After eight years with the MITRE Corporation, Brian was elected to the position of tax collector in 1976. In 1977, that position was combined with the town treasurer position, which he was also elected to that year. And I've been there, that position now for 40, uh, 41 years, and uh, you know, I'm very excited about um, you know, holding and being an elected official for the town that many years. It's been a great experience. Brian spoke on what motivated him to first run for the position of tax collector. I, I was on the capital budget committee um, while I was working over at the MITRE Corporation and uh, one of the uh, gentlemen that I work with over there, Bob Roberto, who was a selectman here in town, and uh, I loved the town because I grew up here and I thought, wow, public service was something I was always interested in. And I said, you know, the position was opening up as tax collector, and he said, you should run. And I said, you know what, that's a good idea. And I did, and I won. And I had a lot of my young friends uh, that grew up here in town that supported me, and my parents were very involved in the town as well. So I think that uh, gave me, um, obviously, the energy that I needed to get elected, and um, uh, the rest is history. In his position as collector and treasurer, Brian has seen the town of Burlington transform throughout the years. When I first, uh, my parents first moved here, um, a lot of, uh, like even Windmere where I was, was farmland. Um, and, you know, wasn't obviously as developed as it is now. It's almost fully developed as hardly any idle land, as you know. The budget when I started in, in the um, late 70s was under $20 million. And now we're about a $145 million corporation. So you can see the size of the town has grown tremendously. But as we all know that live here, although we have a, a huge amount of traffic during the day, um, we've had every Fortune, we have so many Fortune 500 companies that are here. Oracle and Sun Micro was here. And there's a lot of great companies that have uh, you know, decided to build their headquarters here in Burlington. So uh, it's, it's just changed tremendously. During his time with the town of Burlington, Brian's accomplishments include forming a health insurance program for town employees, acting as a trustee on the Middlesex County Retirement Board, and the purchase of the Burlington Ice Palace. One accomplishment he is most proud of is the establishment of the Burlington Community Scholarship Foundation. It's, it's something that's very near and dear to my heart. It has grown to, you know, we only had uh, ten or $15,000. We've got well over a million dollars. We've got uh, over $700,000 in an endowment fund that's invested by, a, a, you know, a professional outfit. We've done really well. So um, thank God that, you know, uh, the residents and business have been very generous in donating money to the Scholarship Foundation. But uh, the town of Burlington gives out over $360,000 a year in scholarships for graduating seniors, and it's been a great success. So, um, you know, I've been very proud of being the treasurer for that foundation for the last 30 years and have worked hard to help raise the money from business as well as the telethons that we've done every year. So, um, yeah, it's a great success story for the town of Burlington. I asked Brian what he'll miss the most about working for the town of Burlington. I'm going to I'm going to miss working with the residents of the town of Burlington. It's been a it's been, you know, a, an honor to serve the residents of the One town. Of the Public service has been my life, my whole career. I'll miss my staff. I have a great staff. I couldn't have had the successes I've had here for 42 years without my staff. Brian complimented his staff on their sensitivity when dealing with all the needs of both town residents and employees. We provide quality, I think, response to not only the residents but the employees and that's what uh, has been most meaningful for me and I'll miss the most is it my interaction with my staff in, in the residence but I'm not going to go away I'm still going to be involved in town so but uh, you know after 42 years it, it, it's definitely different. Finally I asked Brian what he's looking forward to in retirement. I'm, I'm looking forward to spending more time with my family my wife is going to retire um, next June um, so she'll be retiring a little bit after me and uh, you know we're planning to maybe have some trips 
Um, my son and his wife had our first grandchild last November, so he's 14 months old, and uh, he's Liam Brendan Curtin, and I'm looking forward to spending more time with him and my wife and family and um, just enjoying life a little bit and not, I guess, being tied to an office and a job five days a week. We at B News wish Brian nothing but the best in the next chapter of his life. Until next time, this is Chris Flaherty for B News Weekly.